Welcome to the Art of Vibrancy podcast. It's a place where inspired experts distill their brilliance down into simple, practical advice that you can use right away. It's eight minutes, it's four questions, and it's one practical piece of advice that you can put into use today. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Art of Vibrancy podcast. Today, we really are honored to have with us Travis Zipper. Travis, how are you today? Where are you from? Where are you speaking I'm from? Doing great, doing great. Coming uh, from the sunny side of California in good old United States. Oh, wow. I'm jealous. It's uh, a bit cold and damp here in Northern England. <laughs> great. I'll tell our audience a little bit about you and then we'll fire away into these uh, four questions in eight minutes. No problem. So Travis is, uh, he calls himself the Swiss army knife of practitioners. He aims to help the people who tend to fall between the cracks of the medical system, but have more issues than just the inability to lose weight. Uh, he loves to teach the coaches of tomorrow and help the ones in need so that this world can be smarter and healthier. That's beautiful, Travis. Succinct. That's perfect, a wonderful perfect. mission. Yeah, yeah. So shall we roll on with this? I've yeah, got a little timer to keep us on track. Don't worry about it. Just relax. But if it's, if it's too quick, I'll ask more questions. If it's going on a bit. I'll hold it up, <laughs> but if we go over, if it's if we're going good, don't worry about it. I'll just switch the okay. background. Okay, it's okay. Cut me off so, if you need to be. Your time starts now, Travis. What, in your experience, is the biggest problem that people face as they age with regard to staying healthy, well, and positive? I would say the first one would be uh, less activity in their day to day lives. Okay, when you're not moving as much, you're not using your muscles, they're not firing, you're no longer building them. And it becomes harder to maintain muscle mass if you're not using it. And we also tend to eat a little less as we get older because hunger goes down. So if we're not feel it, feeding our bodies and using our bodies, what happens is the muscles atrophy. Uh, and that makes us more susceptible to falls, to injuries, to sicknesses. So really maintaining, you know, a solid diet, which has enough protein, enough movement throughout the day that someone would consider themselves still active and getting a good variety of plants so that they're not nutrient deficient can be one of the biggest things that tends to once again, fall between the cracks in the older demographic, or just say as we age, because we think we trust our bodies, but sometimes our bodies can uh, give us false senses of security. Right. Right. So people, uh, they don't move enough and Correct. they don't eat in enough variety of vegetables. Yes, fibers, fibers and colors. And sometimes their, their, believe it or not, their protein intake goes down. And as we get older, we synthesize protein less or less efficiently. So we actually need a little bit more of it, but we tend to eat less of it because of uh, multiple reasons. So being mindful of those two things, yeah. variety in diet, protein, uh, fibers, and yes, the daily movement, not sitting on the couch quite as much. Yeah, yeah. Great advice. I like that. Question number two. What are the common mistakes or misconceptions that people have about solving those problems we've just talked about? I would say one of the biggest problems that a lot of people have is that they rely on the mass media uh, to be their education sources. And they rely on things like the news to be to give unbiased information when that's never the case. And they also listen to people who maybe only have experience in treating themselves and seeing good results in themselves where every person is different. So getting a wide, diverse blend uh, uh, of advice that comes from people who have possibly been, you know, in the trenches and been doing it for a long time and don't just write about it or blog about it is one of my best advices. So it's like all the best coaches in the world have coaches all the best doctors and teachers, they all have mentors. Absolutely. So learning from someone that is always getting their hands dirty and not just taking one source as the holy grail of information, I think is somewhere that definitely could, uh, could be improved in the education level as we, you know, we, we go on in life. Absolutely. Yeah, because people, uh, you say, don't get your information from the news. Well, I say to people, 
ideally just don't watch the news, not the streaming Correct. news anyway. It's Correct. depressing you. It's someone else's take on things and all right. they want to do is amplify bad stuff. And Yes. Uh, if the world would just turn it off, they probably would be in a much better position because uh, yeah. there's always ulter ulterior motives going on yeah. as to what's being uh, broadcast, so to speak. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, oh, well, that's, yeah, yeah, we agree on that for sure. So question number three, what's the number one tip that you could, could give our audience to help them today? So something tangible, tangible and specific that they could actually implement in, in their lives right away after they've listened to this podcast, something they could do. What, what do you think? Okay, so I would say one of the most important tips that, that I could give to someone to extend longevity is to work on their microbiome, the bacteria in the guts, okay? And what is one of the best ways to increase what's called the diversity or the different types of bacteria that all have different health delivering effects? And it's to eat uh, 30 plus fruits and vegetables per week, okay? And one little tip, a tactic that I have to help people do that it's not, you think you hear 30 fruits and vegetables, you're like, oh my gosh, that's so much. But really all you need is a small serving of each of those fruits and vegetables per day, like maybe a tablespoon um, to get all the health delivering benefits. So what you can do, and it's a very easy tactic is you can go to the grocery store or wherever you buy um, food and you literally stock up one time, you buy 20 different fruits and vegetables, mostly vegetables and fibers, and you dice them up, you put them into big bowls, you food process it up, and then you put it into a bag and you pound it out and you freeze it and you stack all these bags on top of each other. And you can do this and you can get about 12 weeks for about two hours and about a hundred dollars. And you put them in the freezer and every week you take out one bag and you take a half a cup and you put it into a shake with some protein or a smoothie, or you have a little side. It's good to do it in a little shake because it blends it up quite, quite well. Yeah. And I call those microbiome mashups. So you can feed the microbiome uh, all of that good stuff. And uh, it's very simple to do. It's very practical. Brilliant. So all different types of fruits yes. and vegetables. So as many lots of, um, yeah, so root, root vegetables and leafy greens. So like when you get the beets, you don't cut off the, the greens and the stems. When you get the carrots, you don't cut off the stems. You, you use everything. And um, the more, you know... You, Usually, I would say maybe two fruits, but mostly root vegetables and um, a lot of greens, a lot of different things. And you try to do what's in season as much as possible because that's going to have the most nutrients. And every time you make a new batch, you select a new 20 foods. Um, or you could maybe you do it in smaller batches. You don't have to go out, buy quite as much and, yeah. uh, or use instead of a half a cup, a full cup. But that's a great way to get some variety and different fiber because people look at it like, oh my gosh, 30 vegetables per, 30 fruits and vegetables per week. That's a lot. But when you really track, it's not that much. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good tip. Our audience will love that. I, I'm going to start doing that. All right, we've got loads of time left. One minute 30. Uh, okay. Is there a free resource that you'd like to share with our audience? Something that can So I have a couple uh, resources. Um, I have uh, uh, a, my own website. It's primarily for coaches. But if there are hormonal issues or if there's some longevity tactics that people would like to learn about or possibly, you know, what might be holding you back in terms of confidence. If you are coaching other people, uh, there's a lot of good information. And, and I, I give case studies and videos of how you can handle like difficult clients. That's on TravisZipper.com. I do put out a good amount of um, free content videos with regards to just common day problems, more mm -hmm. teaching health coaches on my Instagram page as well. Uh, and then there's the Nutritional Coaching Institute, which looks at uh, teaching coaches of all realms as well. So all those aspects you can kind of dive into and play around with if you like. Uh, That's great, yeah. I have looked on your website. The, your page about long, longevity uh, is absolutely f full of information uh, and about increasing your health span rather than yeah. just your lifespan. And, yeah, it's brilliant stuff. So I recommend... Anyone who's listening to this goes to TravisZipper.com and has yeah. a look at that page. Well, have a yeah. look at the whole website. It's full of brilliant information. So 12 seconds to go. That was absolutely amazing. Talk about on time. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. Perfect. Travis, just let the beeper go off and then we'll say goodbye. Beep, beep, beep. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Talk about timing. That's wonderful.
Travis, on behalf of the uh, Art of Vibrancy audience, thank you so much. And uh, I hope we'll, I hope they'll find you on, the, on your website and we'll see you again soon. Yeah, yeah, it was great stuff. Have a good one. And you, bye, bye. Thanks for checking out the Art of Vibrancy podcast. If you like what we're doing here, please head over to iTunes, subscribe, rate us and leave a review. And I'll love you forever. And if you'd like to try my energy boosting, inflammation busting, brain and body food breakfast, head over to www.breakfastofbrilliance.com and download the recipe today. See you soon. Bye.